Hello, welcome back to Dram One, and today I have a treat in store for you with a review of the Fergan Harris Secret Space Hide 12. An amazing sherry bomb. Yes, today I'll be reviewing the Fergan Harris Secret Space I 12 year old and this is indeed a sherry bomb. You can already see so from the color, which is of course natural color, unchill filtered. And this is bottled at cask strength and it's 55.7%. And what I love about this whiskey is, I talked about it a bit in the last episode, I started my own explorers pack to bring better whiskies to restaurants and bars near me and this is the second one in the lineup. And where I was talking about how much I love Tone from Hogshead bringing us the true spirit with no cask influence, these guys are the opposite. They pride themselves on their cask sele selection for the finishes and this has a Pedro Jimenez cask finish. And that is, it, it has done wonders and it must have been some cask because it was only aged there in six months, six months in a PX barrel. And look at that color. Isn't that amazing? And the flavor wise, the first time I tried it, I was blown away. This is unbelievably good. And yeah, I can only give props to them for bringing this to us. And yes, it's a secret space out. We don't know which distillery it is. Uh, we can have many theories about it. I personally won't participate. If it might have been an Isle of Whiskey, I would have given it a shot. Because it's a recognizable character. And you have... Yeah, you still have quite a bit of options, but not that many. But this is Speyside, and that hosts nearly half of all the distilleries in Scotland. So, gambling, which it might be, I won't, I won't put my uh, two cents in the bag. But nonetheless, it can be a fun pastime to do with friends. I personally like. It a lot when I visit tastings, like just philosophizing, talking with friends, like what might it be? Oh, it's a bit like this or a bit like that, but space side I find a bit too difficult. Anyway, without further ado, let me dive into the nose of this tram, because it is a treat. Yeah, the recognizable dried fruit so soft and mellow you wouldn't give on the nose you wouldn't give this 55.7 percent because uh, the last one was harsher which is understandable because that was more a clear spirit here there's a thick layer of that cherry and it just made it so well rounded and it just smells like um well christmas cake for the british between us that know it i always say that because here in the Netherlands we often read that note uh, Christmas cake and we don't get what it means because we don't have that typical Christmas cake here so it's not a recognizable note for us but they do sell it now from walkers and whatnot from uh, in stores sometimes so last Christmas I went out and bought one specifically so I know what the note means and indeed that is in here it's the dried fruit it's the raisins it's um, yeah, it's wonderful, and uh, this drama has it all. Let's have a sip. Slange. Oh, that's wonderful. That is so wonderful. I keep being surprised with it every single time. Uh, because... It is, yeah, there, there's a little bit of honey, but most of the sweetness is just uh, like, um, almost like a prune uh, marmalade um, or like some homemade marmalade mostly. Like we used to go out in the forest 
uh, when I was a child, uh, we would just go out in the forest and we would um, collect brambles. I think it's brambles. Blackberries. No, it's... I think... It's, well, either way. A type of berry. <laughs> and that type of berry, we would bring them all back and um, my mother would boil them uh, with heaps of sugar and then we'd have our own marmalade. Um, that was just... It was just a treat because also because you collected it yourself which made it a bit extra special you felt like you were a major part I and mean, you could stir the pot to make sure it didn't burn and whatnot but anyway it's finding these little things when you sip a whiskey that make it such a wonderful experience because it can trigger so many memories and yeah that's just that is not many things can do that but whiskey food it has that ability because it's uh I think the frontal lobe, frontal cortex, it's the two sectors that control these things, smell and memory, are very close to each other. And uh, yeah, this is a treat and I think for anyone who's ever made marmalade themselves the way I did, like in, in, in Mother's Kitchen, then I think you'll get what I'm talking about with this tram. I can't get enough of this and I'm gonna enjoy it a bit more. But thank you so much for watching, and if you happen to want to know more, be sure to have a look at my blog, uh, drop a like and a share if you want, uh, it's much appreciated. And I hope that together we can experience more of these experiences, <laughs> these little trips down memory lane, and enjoying good whiskey together. Bye, Japan.